All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to repair an OptiQuest Q19WB that has a bad power supply. Um, first thing you need to do, of course, is remove your power cable and your signal cable and the base to the monitor. Uh, we've already removed the flat portion of the base to the monitor. We want to show you how to remove the stalk. A lot of people ask questions about that. If you look inside, there's three Phillips screws. So you have to remove those first. So we'll get those out. And it helps to have a magnetic screwdriver so you can lift the screw all the way out. And once you get the third one out, then the stand will just come off. We're going to set that to the side along with our three screws. Now you need to let, lay the unit down flat. On both sides of the hinge, there are two small screws. All right, we have those out. Now you can turn the unit over. And now we need to start removing some of the plastics. Um, first we do is grab in the center and kind of lift and flex it a little bit and it will start coming loose from the little catches. I'm going to go to the side and do that and just kind of work your way around. And we have the, dis the front bezel off. Now the next thing we need to do is remove this little screw that holds the control panel on. Um, there's a cable that plugs in from the control panel to the monitor and you have to be able to remove the control panel to get the display out. Um, the next thing we need to do is use a screwdriver um, around all four sides or, or plastic catches that actually hold the panel to the back of the monitor and just kind of pry those, the, the plastic away from the, metal, the, away from the monitor and the little catches will come loose. There's little clips. And then there's also some in the center of the bottom. Same kind of thing. All right. Now the monitor, you notice, starts to lift up a little bit. Okay. Now we can turn it over. You kind of have to work your way around. off your two speakers. Now we can remove the, the back panel or the back plastics from the panel and just set that to the side. The next thing to do on the panel, there, on each end there are two screws. So we need to remove those screws. And they're just Phillips screws. Now before we can separate the two, we do need to unplug the backlights from the sockets. And they're just little plugs that pull straight out. Some models of monitors have uh, release clasps that have to be um, squeezed to release. These are just pull and, pl and unplug. The last thing to do is disconnect the signal cable. It's very easy to do on that. Just lay the monitor down. There's two little clasps on each end. So what we'll do is loosen the tape. And then grab the two clasps and just work it loose. And now we can remove the electronics. Okay, this is the power, back of the power supply board that we're going to be removing. So we have a couple of screws. And now we can 
start to lift that board up and work it free. Um, now we'll need to unplug the power supply board from the video board. Uh, probably the easiest way to do that is if we loosen a couple of screws so that we can lift up the board just a little bit and get to that plug. Now we have it unplugged. We need to unplug the speakers from the board and now we have the power supply board. Um, very evident that this large capacitor is bulging. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the video. Um, but while we're replacing it, it's best to go ahead and replace the rest of them on the board. These are the power supply capacitors. These capacitors are for the audio amplifier. They usually don't go bad, so we won't be replacing those, just the ones for the power supply. So let's take it over to the soldering iron and see if we can get it fixed.